Coccidiosis is one of the more common and costly diseases in poultry. Chicken keepers in the past had come to accept a loss of 10 to 20 birds per hundred, and the stunting of 8 to 10 more as a normal cost of doing business. While coccidiosis can occur at any age, the greatest danger of infection is in birds from 4 to 8 weeks old. It is generally accepted that all young birds reared on litter are exposed to this costly disease. Coccidiosis is caused by a microscopic parasite in a tiny egg-like cell, which is protected by a very tough covering. This cell, known as an oocyst, is passed in the droppings. In this stage, it is non-infective, but after about two days of moisture and warmth, significant changes begin to take place in the non-infective oocyst. Four spores develop, each with two banana-shaped sporozoites, so that each oocyst, when matured, contains eight sporozoites. The oocyst is now known as an infective oocyst. When it is swallowed by a chick, the infective oocyst passes down the warm, moist intestinal tract, where the digestive juices of the bird dissolve the hard protective covering of the oocyst. The spores break through the weakened wall of the oocyst, and then the sporozoites escape from the spores. These released organisms invade the cells lining the cecca, or other parts of the intestine, depending on the species of parasite. Once inside the cell wall, the sporozoite develops into a rounded body enclosing a nucleus. This nucleus splits into two nuclei. These in turn split and the process repeats until, when growth stops, a considerable number of nuclei have developed. Then, around each nucleus, a new organism called a merozoite forms, fitting with the others into a clump resembling the segments of an orange. It takes around six days for the disease to run its course. Often, there are no visible symptoms until the third and fourth days when the merozoites break through from the cells and cause the cecca to fill with blood and to swell considerably. By the fourth day, the chick has become listless and begins to show the typical ruffling of the feathers and failing appetite. During this stage, the birds may begin to die from loss of blood, but it is the fifth day when the greatest number of deaths occur. Blood begins to appear in the droppings, and the second generation of organisms invades many more cells. Some of the birds still die on the sixth day, but those that survive the attack are immune and begin to improve. The blood in the cecca starts clotting, which in turn causes shrinking. The color of the walls of the cecca begin to return to normal. Late on the sixth day, these oases begin to pass in the droppings. When we realize that one parent cell is capable of producing over half a million oases, it's not difficult to understand how an entire flock may be infected by one single diseased bird. Under farm conditions, the birds pick up the infective oasis from such places as the litter, yards, dirty feeders, and waterers to spread the disease. To aid in the prevention of coccidiosis, there are medicated chick feeds. An alternative to medicated feed is to have your chicks vaccinated. If a breakout does occur, the cushioning effect of the preventative medication will keep the deaths and stunting loss to a very small percentage, compared to birds not protected with the preventative medication. As effective as these medications are, they cannot replace good management and sanitation practices. To minimize the chance of a breakout, flocks should not be overcrowded, litter should be kept dry, and their area always well ventilated.